Welcome to Apex Esports League. We have Hamper HQ GT3 World Tour for Project Cars 2 on the PS4 tonight. Tonight is the final round of the four round series. Tonight we're headed over into China for the Zuhai International Circuit. So tonight's session is the final race. We don't have our usual two race session tonight. So drivers will be facing a big drilling 35 laps at Zuhai. So we'll be heading into a 15 minute practice, weather is light cloud. Then into the qualifying session, it's 15 minutes, weather is clear. And then for the final race with the 35 laps, there's weather of clear through to light cloud and there is a mandatory pit. So, so far we have Gallon 350 leading the championship with 403 points. Weaven 777 falling a little bit behind with 295 points. And in the third position is Sami with 228. With a clean sweep tonight, with Gallon finishing a little bit less strong in the field, we could potentially see Weaven steal away the win for the championship. And there is a lovely hamper up for grabs for that. The sprint race last week at Bathurst, we saw Weaven 777 qualify second and take the win. And then in the final race, we saw Gallon 350 qualify first and take the win for the race. So we're over into the pits now. I don't have a full grid tonight. I'm missing a few of our regular drivers. We do have a fluffy Kiwi debuting with us tonight. So he's managed to be able to jump in and fill a spot. So welcome aboard Slappy. He's been lurking for a little while. So it's good to see him get in on board for a race with us for the final round of the series. And this will be the final one for the year. And then we'll be back after a two week break in the new year with the Formula Rookie Cup. So that's the Formula Fords within Project Cars 2. So some open wheel action will be occurring. Over to Rooney9915. I don't think he was able to make it last week. He did miss last week's race. I'll look at a bit of statistical data for Rooney. He's taken one pole. Average qualifying position is third. Right, average race position is ninth. He's been averaging only 27 points, but he has missed a few rounds. That's to Demon Effects. So he drove very well last week in the sprint race. Qualified fifth, finished in fourth, and then for the main race, qualified in fifth, and then finished on the podium in third place. So he secured himself 52 points for that final race and then Demon Effects is sitting fourth in the championship with 221 points. So some big points up for grabs. So the points are double that of what the main race is in our usual rounds, the final round. So 120 points up for grabs for a spot at the top of the podium. Here's over to John 07 in the Nissan GTR. Jana is currently coming ninth in the championship with 139 points. And it's looking like for a fight on the podium, it will be Sami, Demon Effects, and it would have been Azuro and Bertie, but Azuro and Bertie both not online at the moment. And Weaven, Triple Seven. He's been doing some very consistent driving throughout and we were expecting that he wasn't going to be able to make most of this series. Luckily he has been able to make it. And if he does do rather well around Zuhai tonight and gets a clean sweep, it could potentially be having that lovely $165 worth of value hamper full of grog, snacks and chocolates. And it'll be making its way to his door. It'll be a lovely Christmas present. And to Strasbourg in the McLaren. Uh, so where he's in Strasbourg is currently sitting 10th with 133 points. 
first time starting to come on the board. Helen 350, our championship leader, coming through for 137.4 for an opening lap. And Sami sitting on the podium at the moment for the championships and sitting in third. 228 points. Santi is sitting in eighth with 151 points. He has as a normal 30 and a zero. Less than 40 points. The head all a bit broad as he cuts that corner, but he brings it around without taking damage. He gets the car back on track, he can still get around. Bit of debris left on that corner. All a bit tight there with Slappy Kiwi in that red Ferrari. There's a normal just tucking in front of him on that corner. As a normal is currently coming seventh with 172 points. And he drove very well last week. After qualifying six in the sprint race, he ended up finishing on the podium in third place. And he qualified third in the main race and finished fourth. Gallon 350 will need to ensure he stays rather focused to be able to finish strongly in both qualifying and the race. If he does qualify rather well, I think with the amount of cars on the field, finishing in 10th position will still be enough to keep his lead in the championship, provided he does qualify very strong. Seeing some consistent times come through out of the practice so far. 1.35 seems to be the first opening times. Expect that the drop by a couple of seconds as track temperatures start to increase. Game session times is 9 a.m. And whatever is light clouds, track temperatures will be slightly cool. Here we go. Sami coming through with a 1.34 could potentially be an advantage to the McLarens on this track. It is a shame that Bertie couldn't make it with the Bentley. It would also be another car that would benefit greatly from this track. So far we've been seeing the Ferraris just about 1-2 in most of the races. Garland and Weaven usually finishing after each other in each of the races. They will have a bit more of a challenge tonight with the McLarens as they'll have a lot more better speeds along the straights over those Ferraris. So the Ferraris will need to ensure they've got a nice tight line and really push it through those corners. Gallon's just gone off and that's invalidated his time and he's made contacts, he'll bring that car back in. Army doing very well with a 134.799. Jump on board for him for a lap in a moment. Three cars still in the 135 mark. Should know what Ez is doing at the moment. Let's bring that car in. Three cars out of the first four are the McLarens. A little bit of time difference of about seven seconds at the moment from start. Starting over to Slappy Kiwi. Slappy being a later joiner will be a little bit unfamiliar for the track and car as well. He hasn't raced in this series. Is about to come up for a fresh lap. He's practicing a pit entry. And it's definitely will be needed to know where that pit entry is.
jump on board with Gina, so he's just come down the pit straight. Ran into turn one. A little bit loose. But it is a longer bend. Some nice fast corners. And hard onto the brakes here for the hairpin. Into a chicane. Sweeping bend, being cautious not to run out too wide into the dirt. Nice sharp hairpin here. Trying to find that line is very difficult. And flat at it again. Can take these corners reasonably quick in the second gear. And then feathering it through that bend. There's some quite good straights, plenty of spaces for passing opportunities and with the variances between the GT3 cars we'll see a lot of passing going on in the straights and the corners as they're all going to have very different perks for different sections of this track. It is technical and quick. That last corner, a nice line, you can go flat out through that. That's a bit weird, we're seeing a, his pit entry out in the middle of the track. And that is a lap on board with Gina. Rooney has come through with a 133.841. Ferrari's made a comeback coming through with a 134 as well. He's just under half a second slower than the Veruni's time. And 1.1 seconds difference between that's a normal. It's just less than a second between Rooney and Sami. And Santi's made his way up towards the top few as well. He's taken a bit of damage to that car. We had been seeing the Ferraris dominating towards the top of the field. A little bit of difference tonight should shake things up, especially with the championship leaders being in the Ferraris. Uh, leading the championship is Gallen in the Ferrari, Weaven coming in second with Ferrari, Sami in the McLaren, Demon Effects in the Ferrari, and then Azuro in the McLaren and then Bertie in sticks with the Bentley so still doing rather well with that big heavy beast of a machine hopefully he may be able to make it a little bit later tonight if you're joining us for the stream don't forget to use the chat say hello use those sound effects oh sunday has gone in for a big broad slide and puts it into that tyre wall Taking some more damage. He's really pushing that Ferrari to its limits. It's two minutes remaining of practice. A lot of 134s on the board. We have Gallon as a normal Sami Demon effects, all with 134s. There's not much between them. Don't forget to hit that follow button if you haven't yet hit the follow button. So you can be notified when we go live for all our broadcasts. Also our YouTube channel, if you head over to our link, all our past broadcasts get saved to there. And there's also our Facebook page down below so you can keep up to date for all results and standings and incident reports. And if you're interested in joining in any of our races as well, you can head over to the Pages group and that has all our event details or you can even get our Android app if you search for Apex Esports League 
and it has all details for our events and in a calendar. And it has all the links available for you. Ooh, a little bit too early on the throttle puts that McLaren into a spin. Not taking damage, so at least get a bit of practice and finish this lap up. There's only 50 seconds remaining. And championship leader possibly going to be having a bit of competition from Rooney. Oh, and Weaven has just come through with quicker time as well. Weaven's has come through with 134.238 and Gallant is a 134.295. Gallant bringing that car back into the pits after setting that lap. That was a very tight time. Should be a make for a very interesting qualifying session with times already coming through. It's pretty consistent. There's only seven seconds separating this field at the moment. And Slappy Kiwi hasn't done any practice for this. So he wouldn't have a setup all gone for it and be too familiar with the car and track. So he's doing very well. I'm sure a bit of practice into the qualifying and he'll be doing a bit more improvement. Demon Effects just running off wide just before I count this lap. He's brought that car back in. I think that's AI driving that car at the moment. Happy Kiwis, run that car off and we'll probably bring that in. Yep, and there we are. Practice session done. Rooney9915 with the quickest time of a 133.2. And not too far behind, only just one second difference is Weaven777. And then also Gallon350 just in that one second margin. And then 1.2 seconds out. He's ever the normal and some, he's not too far behind. So considering our first six are less than two seconds apart from the quickest time, it's going to be very tight heading off into the qualifying session. So the driver's now got 15 minutes to get some qualifying times on the board. And it is important to get a good qualifying result here, not just about setting your position that you want to get for the race, uh, but they do also get points. Pole position does get 20 points in the championship. The West Ham drivers may consider qualifying just slightly back in the field to try and avoid some potential issues in turn one to the start of a race, especially in a longer race. Qualifying towards the top, but sort of mid pack can sometimes be a benefit and usually avoid all the cluster at the start of the race and not risk taking yourself out in an incident early on. Oh, a little bit of a lag skip going on there at the moment. I'm not sure if that's what caused that incident there. I think that was Rooney and Gallon having issues. Hopefully no technical issues for Gallon. And he's missing out on points will definitely cost him. Oh, we've just had someone join. That's probably why we're doing this resource. I think it's Simo Simzel has made his way. Yes, and he is in the Lamborghini Hurricane. of our regular drivers have seen sent an invite, so if they're a little bit late in getting on, they can join during the qualifying session. Let's see, as a normal, just in the background of Rooney 9015, trying to get some heat into those tyres rather quickly. Simo now out in the field. Oh, a little bit broad on that first corner. Those tyres are cold. Game time for qualifying session is 10am. Weather is clear. Ambient temperature and track temperature should have increased quite a fair bit. Oh, got another one joining. Kakadu has now joined. So that's an extra two to the field. 
to 12 drivers on the grid would be nice. And Kakadu joined the session last week. He was there for practice and qualifying, but he wasn't. He was actually away, so he didn't get a time on the board for qualifying. And then DQ'd as he wasn't back at his console in time before the race started, so it disconnects them. Evans just getting back out on track. We can get our other regulars if Azuro and Bertie manage to get on. We'll have close to a full grid for the final race. It will be very exciting. First time's coming through. And championship leader Gallant coming through with a 1.42 for an opening time. It's a very cautious opening lap. Wevens just pulled the car over to the side. I'm not sure what just happened there, but Gallant just managed to be able to ghost through Wevens' car. That was rather interesting. Rooney's has come through with a 1.32 already. Demon Effects doing well with a 1.33.7. That's going to be a qualifying time, and that is only his opening time. So if he can make some improvements with current weather conditions and track temperatures, we'll definitely be able to see a very, very quick 1.32 may be able to break into a slow 131. Be interesting to see. And don't forget to make yourself known if you're joining us for the stream. Let us know who you think is going to take pole position out of this session. Who will win the final race. And whether you think the McLarens will actually have an advantage and potentially dominate the field tonight. One, two, so far for McLaren. And we will be tallying up at the end of all this for manufacturer's points as well, just so we can see the difference between the performance of the cars. We had a lot more McLarens as being the car of choice. However, the Ferraris have been doing rather well and finishing quite strongly throughout the series. Just had, I think that's Strasbourg off in the distance there. That's very broad on that last corner. I don't think he's taken damage, but he'll invalidate his time. And he's brought that car in. He's not happy with how it was handling there. He hasn't got a time on the board yet. Kakadu is also sitting there. He may be away at the moment as well. Could be the same issue as last week. Kiwi's opening time of 1.54. Very conservative opening lap. Uh, camera can catch up. I don't know if he's on a cold lap here. He's trying to get some extra temp into those tyres. Well, that could have cost him. I think he's using a bit of a slipstream to do a nice opening run for this lap here. I think he's going to be on for a flat out lap here. We might jump on board and watch this. Oh, big lock up for Slappy Kiwi. We've only got six litres of fuel in this car. This is going to be a very quick lap. Got him getting focused and keen for this. He's already oh no, he's off pace for his fastest lap. It's still going to be a very quick lap. Does he flips hairpin? Finds his way out into a nice line. 
Gotta be the time to make up. Nice and you can see his sector splits a bit more. He is gaining time, so he's taken off 0.1 of a second. And you can see fuel is definitely going to be a thing to consider for this race. You can see just in this lap, he's just about used two litres of fuel. Oh, run off, that will cost him a little bit of time. Also getting a weird thing, I'm not sure if the driver's thing on, it's not on the screen, but... So he's shaved off a fair bit, he was starting in that first sector at 0.33 of a second off. And over the course of the lap he did shave off 0.2. That first sector was his slowest and I don't think he had a very good run coming out onto that first start where he was actually backing off and then going for the throttle. He's probably going to improve this. We might be able to see what his last that was. Uh, 133, 040. There's not much in it between those two times. And even a 133, 040 is still better than the best lap for Gallon in second position. 133, 579. So that's very quick indeed. Gallon's taken some damage at some stage as well. But he has moved up he does need to be able to qualify quite high to ensure when he gets into the main race if for any reason he gets disconnected or finishes towards the back of the field he will have secured a decent amount of points in qualifying just to keep him get that little bit of an edge Qualifying in second position, you'll score 18 points, 30, 16 points. It goes down by two points until we get to seventh position, which is nine points. Then we drop down by one point to tenth position, where it's six points. And then for eleventh through to sixteenth, all is only four points. So qualifying in those top few is very important. Last case scenario, finishing 12th in the uh, the final race is 32 points. So Kakadu is out of the pits, so he's out on track. He is there. Oh, Sami's just being given a penalty. Speeding in pits, that's one grid place, so that's going to shove him down if they finish in the current standings. That'll see him start in fourth and we move into the third spot. It's unfortunate for Sami, but if he can shave off another second from his time and get that pole position, that will only see him start from second. And there are five bonus points up for grabs for the fastest lap time in the race as well. Taking a pole position, a victory at the race and fastest lap will have 145 points up for grabs. A clean sweep. Being able to move up the ladder quite quickly with all those points up for grabs. If Rooney improves this time, he was doing rather well at the start of that lap. Doesn't improve the pole. Oh, it's a very slow lap actually, 142. He must have a runoff. And his, this lap probably isn't going to be as beneficial to him, but I think a 132.8 is going to be pretty tricky to beat. I don't think the Ferraris potentially could have it, however, getting in a nice draft behind some traffic can see you shave some time off for sure. Two and a half minutes remaining of qualifying. Gallon will have a chance to be able to get the car back around for another first lap and then get out another hot lap in time and see if he can take on Rooney and take that pole position away from him. Getting a 
Fairfax just moving out of the way for Sami. There's a normal showing some damage to that McLaren. Strasbourg's off to the side as well. There's a normal looking to get some extra heat in those tyres. Runs across the board from first. First to tenth is only four seconds difference. 3.7 seconds would be correct. Kakadu getting his time on the board. Also in the McLaren. There's a sea of McLarens for the final race. Kakadu setting a 135.220. A very nice time indeed. Corrective steering going on with that McLaren. I'm not sure if he's got some damage going off the car. I've had say camber issues, something strange going on. There's a lot of corrections going down that straight. I've usually got to just compare that to what the broadcast actually seeing as my race director screen sometimes does show a little bit different. Lamborghini. We haven't checked out Simo too much just to see how the Lamborghini is going around Zuhai. 1.37 is an okay time to be setting. Simo is coming 11th in the championship. He did drop round one's points out of the series is he did do a car change, he did start with the Mercedes. And it didn't it did not like how it was going and swapped out into the Lamborghini for round two. So we, since drivers do have to keep the same car throughout the series, we had to drop the points and from the BMW in that first race. Ooh, a little bit of a tire squeal. Qualifying is complete. He's really pushing that car. I think there's a bit of play going on between these two coming across the line. That's as normal and Simo playing on pit straight. And Sami has moved up into second position, so that's helped him with that grid place penalty. So that's McLaren for the first two, however, Gallon will move up. There we have it, qualifying results for the final race of the series. And once I can get back up and have a look at this, so Rooney9915 taking pole position, Sami finishing in second spot. He does have that one grid place penalty that moves him back into third position. So Gallon350 will start in second, and then Weaving is in fourth. Followed by another Frey Demon FX, and then as a normal Kakadu Strasbourg in the McLarens, then the Nissan GTR starting in ninth, Santi also in the Ferrari starting in tenth, and Simo Simsel in the Lamborghini starting in eleventh, and then Slappy Kerry in the Ferrari in twelfth position. So we'll be heading over into the race now. Drivers needing to get their setups ready and pit strategies set as that will be key to ensuring a victory here tonight. Interesting to see how they go with fuel loads. An incorrectly set up pit um, strategy could cost the races if you've got to head back in for another round. It will potentially cost them the race if you are leading it. Interesting to see just how it goes at the start. We've usually had Ferrari starting in a row at the front. It'll be interesting to see if 
And McLaren has a speed advantage off the jump. You have seen from midfield when the McLarens actually quickly recover a fair few positions at the start of the race. I think Bruni should be able to get ahead off Gallon and start to get ahead quite quickly. But they will need to be cautious not to jump start, otherwise a drive through penalty will definitely ruin their chance of ensuring a victory. They don't want to have to be facing off a drive through penalty as pit lane is rather long. We will be seeing some much slower pit stop times compared to what we've seen throughout the series so far. Once all drivers have hit that ready button, the game will sink and be ready to go. Here we are. Doesn't look like we've had any drops. So everyone... And away we go. Uh, it looks like Good jump at the back from the Ferraris. Those McLarens, 1-2, getting away. Gallon now moves back into fourth position. Side by side with Demon FX. Dami's recovered back that position in the way of a grid place penalty for the start. McLaren's quickly getting away. Then the McLaren, 1-2, followed by three Ferraris. I think there may definitely be an advantage to these McLarens. Starting to get almost 0.7 of a second ahead of Sami. Sami did start from third and he's already jumped back up into second. He's not too far behind. Rooney really pushing away and climbing ahead quite quickly. Not even halfway through the first lap and he's starting to put a one second lead on position two. Gallon weaving back and forth behind Sami, looking to be able to put some pressure on him and make a move. Tucking and trying to get that slipstream an advantage. This is where the Ferraris are going to be disadvantaged on those straights. Over those sharper, more technical turns, the Ferraris are going to dominate a lot better. They're going to handle it and glide through a lot better. And if they do get that golden line each time, that nice exit speed is going to potentially remove a lot of that disadvantage of the top end speed coming along those straights. Last week at Mount Panorama, there wasn't too much difference between top end speeds. They depend on the, how these cars have been set up. It is custom setups for the drivers, so they have full control over the setups and tyre compound choices as well. Tyre compounds being potentially a big thing here as well. I'd be surprised if the Ferraris had decided to go for hards. McLaren's probably would have wanted to look for a soft compound. That they could potentially scrub a fair bit more and then require a pit stop and change those tyres. The rest of the hards may be able to last out the full 35 laps, but we will see how this goes. Gallon really struggling to try and close that gap in on Sami, but Sami is managing to maintain that one second difference between him and Rooney at this stage. Rooney not getting away too quickly. Simsels in the pits. Not sure what's happening. He might have taken some damage early on. We'll check out the rest of the field while there isn't too much of a tight gap. It's a bit of a difference of time. So, Lucky Kiwi, Gina is closing in on Sunti at the moment. As a normal is honing in on Kakadu. Demon effects a little bit behind Weaven at the moment. He's got about 1.3 seconds to catch up on Weaven. Weaven's another one and a half seconds behind Yarlan. 
Weaven and Demons Ferrari starting to slip behind the first three. Gallon managing to keep this Ferrari up to pace with Sami. That is really tight. Not sure what was going on with Rooney. I don't know if that was a bit of a spin in the corner and he's recovered that. He has lost about 0.3 of a second lead that he had over Sami. This could potentially lead to Gallon and Sami catching back up rather quickly now. That means pulling back away from Gallon again. I might bring up the map and just have a look and see whereabouts it is that McLaren seems to be dominating. If Sami is doing well, but through those more technical corners that the Ferrari may have an advantage over, then it will be very difficult for Gallon to try and catch back up and make a pass. Three laps in now. Gallon half a second off pace from his best lap that just came up. It is quite interesting. It's those faster bends and straights. McLaren is getting away rather quickly. Rooney 9915 now starting to increase that lead back out to about 1.3 seconds. We've got back in the midfield we have Kakadu Demon Effects as a normal all within a second of each other. Oh and that looks like Rooney has gone off track. He's just re-entered the track into the midfield just ahead of Demon Effects. Is he going to tuck it back in? I think Demon FX is going to be able to have an inside pass here. Oh, it is tight. Demon FX having that nice inside line that forced Rooney to go back out. Sasami now leads the race. Gallon 350 is about half a second behind him. Rooney now recovering some ground again. Just getting back ahead of Demon Effects, but it was a much different line, so he's had to shave some speed off to correct for that different line going through the bend. Demon Effects tucking that car back in behind Rooney. There may be a couple of swaps between these guys. Sun Tint now closing in on that skyline. He's just run off a little bit wide, so it's just put him back just a tad. Kakadu's starting to hone down in on Weaven. Weaven slipping behind the race leaders at the moment. Sitting around that four seconds mark on average. It was about three seconds only just a lap ago, so they are starting to slip behind slowly. Demon effects has just run off wide. He brings a car back just in time behind as a normal. As close to making contact as that car re-entered the track. Demon effects losing two positions. As a normal has a little bit of gaps. There's about two seconds between him and Rooney now. Kakadu is Getting right on the tail of Weaven's Ferrari at the moment. Ferrari's definitely feeling a lot of pressure from these McLarens tonight. We've seen a bit of a show and a nice battle between Gallon 350 and Weaven 777 in the Ferraris for most of the series. With the McLarens getting up and giving them a bit of battle that the Ferraris definitely seem to have been dominating so far. And the tables have turned for the final round. Very wide line by Kakadu. That's just cost him his gain that he had caught up on to Weaven. Now race leader Sami about 0 0.6, 0 0.7 seconds by Head of Gallon 350. Gallon running about 
about 72 litres of fuel. It's um, running 75, so running full tanks. Should be enough fuel to get them through the race. There won't be any splashes of fuel in their pits. Be whether they can keep their cars free of damage and whether they need to change tyres or not. Being effects trying to recover that lost ground from before. We're trying to catch up on as a normal. We have Kakadu, Rooney and Weaven all nice and tight at the moment. Kakadu really closing back in on Weaven again. Just had Gallon slipping back to about two and a half seconds behind our race leader Sami. Still seeing a lot of steering corrections from Kakadu. Doing well to keep Kakadu at bay. There's been no opportunity for a pass just yet. Drop the ball, Kakadu. See what's going off his car. He catches up. Ferrari's quite good at getting away out of the corner. catch up. Ooh, he's going for an inside line that's going to cost him. Wasn't enough time to be able to get in for a pass. Rooney following Kakadu around to try and take advantage of that slipstream. Not really seeing many passes just yet. for a moment. Rooney is quickly closing back in on Kakadu as well. There must have been an error going on for Sami as Gallon 350 is now only one and a half seconds apart. These three, there is nothing between them. Less than a hundredth between the three. There's going to be some swaps. Oh, and then here we go. Kakadu has gone for a nice inside line pass. But then a bit of a switch as that left him in a bad position for the next line. Oh, a little bit of rubbing. He's just run off track as well. Weaven doing his best to try and keep these McLarens at bay. He's had to recede there. Rooney then getting through. Weaven doing well with that Ferrari to keep him back for quite some time. Oh, some nice passes done there, a little bit of a rub. So far... Oh, we have... I don't know if Rooney's let him get around, or if that was a nice slingshot by Weaven. I think he's going to switch back and go for an inside line, but he's cut that corner quite sharp. That's going to cost him some time. He almost just ran wide and made contact into Weaven, so he's just tucked that car back in again. This is a fierce battle between Ferrari and McLaren, Weaven and Rooney, both driving very well. Oh, we've just had as a normal run wide in the background. He's probably watching these two guys fight it out, expecting a possible spill from these two, as he doesn't want to get caught up in it if it is bad line to try and get that pass. Who's going to have the better... That's going to be a better inside line for Weaven here, coming up to the next corner. So then we're going into a left corner now. And 
Rooney, 9115, owns the track position. Oh, but a big slide, and he's made contact, and Strasbourg's off to the side as well. He's just gone off. That's going to be costly for Rooney. He started to recover a fair bit of ground. Oh, and he's spun it again. Here comes Gina as well. Can he get back around? Oh, he narrowly avoids contact with the McLaren. I think that's going to be a fair bit of damage done to Rooney's car. Yes, he's going to have to get that car into pit. That's not looking healthy at all. A fair bit of damage showing. Green isn't showing cracked glass, but on my screen there is cracked glass. Now we have Demon Effects honing in on Ezanomal and Weaven not too far ahead as well. So lucky for Rooney where he's gone off that was actually not far from pit entry. Hopefully this will be enough for him to be able to count as his mandatory pit. We have the lovely stealth suits for his pit crew team. And Sami now leading by 2.6 seconds. Hi Slappy. And Slappy's just joined us for in the chat. So we did just lose you. Slappy, what happened to you? No worries, Bertie. But he is away, so that's why he couldn't make it. He's just joined us for the stream as well. We're hoping to be able to see your um, Bentley put a bit of wind up the Ferraris and McLarens around Zuhai. It probably would have had a good advantage. Asani is now leading this race by nearly three seconds. Callan in the Ferrari, still doing relatively okay. Ferrari's definitely at a disadvantage compared to these McLarens. Hi Gitto, thanks for joining us for the stream. Have a, well, there's a bit of a space between drivers. We'll bring up times to see what the fastest lap so far. This looks like it to be a 1.35. I think that's the Ferrari. A 1.35.140 is has been set by Gallon 350. The next quickest time is Starmy in the McLaren. A 1.35.179. Gallon 350 doing rather well considering we are seeing these McLarens strongly dominate. Yeah, but um, no one repping the, the Bentley tonight. Bentley did make a lovely sound around the track. You could always hear when you're nearby. No matter who we were watching. Oh, Gallon runs off wide. That's going to cost him some time. He's got about three and a half second difference between him and Kakadu. Kakadu's last lap was a 136.3. His fastest lap at 135.412. Fastest laps are pretty tight between the field. As a normal now also into the pits. He's taken some damage. Yeah, so in the stream, not showing the damage to the windscreen. So be sure to let us know who you think is going to take the win tonight. Gallen is leading the championship. His contender to steal the championship away is Weaven. So as long as he finishes well ahead, he should be fine. He's going to 
Thomas Howard. Thought I just heard a screaming hurricane in the distance. We saw Simo have to head into the pits pretty early on. That's a beautiful sounding car as it's downshifts into that first corner. Demon effects now starting to get his sights on Weaven. He's still furthering that gain over the gallon as well. He's starting to come up with some back markers. He's going to have to try and get around the coming up lap cars. Get around safely and quickly so that he doesn't lose this time advantage he has over second place. Okay, he's halfway through all lap. There's a couple of good spots to be able to get around. Simo being shown the blue flag, he moves offline. So he gets around nice and quick. Not losing too much time to Gallon at this stage. Wait for the camera to catch up onto Gallon. And he's still sitting about that three and a half second mark. He's got a bit of catching up to do. But if he can continue at this rate and not fall back behind too much, it will come down to pit stops as to whether he can be potentially reclaim a position away from Sami. If Sami can be able to last out at this rate, keep this great consistent driving that he's doing and then get in for a nice quick pit stop that will see him be able to secure his win tonight Gallon gets around Simo nice and easy a little bit offline through that corner Demon effects starting to close back down on Weaven Sorry if that's just residual visual damage to that front bar. I think he's potentially made another hit. It usually fixes bars and wings once they've gone back into pit. And Rooney has been into pit after that spin out and accident that happened. Very, again, that car doesn't seem to be holding very well straight. A couple of mistakes costing him the lead of the race quite early on. Stani is our race leader. He did qualify in second and take that one grid place penalty, so that moved him back to start from third, allowing Gallon 350 to start from second position. But the two McLarens got the jump over the Ferraris and moved into a 1 2 position quite quickly. Yeah, Slap, you were probably still on track when Rooney spun out. He caught some dirt pretty early on and went for a spin. And then came back in midfield and did well and recovered a couple of positions. But then he did lose it around a corner a bit too early on the throttle and that put him into a big spin. Nearly taking out Strasbourg who was already spun out on the side of the track just waiting for traffic to move. And he actually pirouetted essentially around him and then completely avoided Strasbourg, even though he was heading straight towards him, so it was quite lucky for the two of them. But Rooney did take damage, making contact to the wall, so he's had to already pit in once. And that flapping front bar at the moment for Rooney 
is going to cost him time over the course of the race, even if he can make the tyres last out for the remainder of this race. Fuel load's fine. We'll have a look and just see what his last lap is. Yes, he's very much off pace. Last lap 144, so he's probably could be losing two to three seconds per lap with that front aero damage. Yes, happy we saw you get a good start at the grid. Get off to the side and take some positions. It was a very good start. And he's catching up on as a normal. Demon effects is starting to catch that gain on Weaven at the moment. There's been a bit of back and forth with the time differences between the two Ferraris at the moment. Demon effects looking to stay in that stream. Weaven doing his best to try and break that slip. Very different lines by the two. Demon getting a much quicker exit speed. It's not going to be in the best spot to try and make a pass here. He's going to have to bring that car back in and just tuck in and wait just a little bit longer. If he can stay nice and close, put some pressure on and potentially wait for an error. And then take an advantage and then go for a pass. Where Oh, that's just cost him. That's probably going to ask him to do a slowdown, most likely. If he doesn't abide by it, it's probably worth just taking a second penalty. Wasn't too much of a cut track. I think he has backed off a little bit. And Gallon's still at there on that three second mark. Um, he's staying rather consistent. Last lap, 135.680. Best laps still haven't changed. And going 350, a 136.002. So now that we're halfway through the 35 laps, potentially start seeing some pits just depending on have opted for softs and if they are on softs, if they are actually lasting on this track. It should do relatively okay for here. It's not too technical where they're going to be scrubbed out. There's not too much of an off-camber corners on the track. Demon's still trying to close in on that gap. And then... Following Demon Effects in 6th position is Jaina, so there is a bit of a safety net between 5th and 6th position. So there's 24 seconds difference between the two. The two Ferraris a little bit safe at the moment. a bit of a mix between the McLarens and the Ferraris so far, so we have leading is McLaren, followed by Ferrari, followed by McLaren, and then followed by two Ferraris. Has been mixed up a little bit more. Tonight, Sami is really in the zone. This is some very spectacular, consistent driving. If you're new to our stream, be sure to join in on the chat and say hello. Hit that follow button so you can be notified when we do go live for any of our events. As you can see on the stream, we have our YouTube link where we store all our past broadcasts. You can go back and see any of our previous races. And then our Facebook 
page. You can stay up to date for all results and standings and incident reports as they come out after each of the rounds. And of course, this series is sponsored by Hamper HQ. The website is there, hamperhq.com.au, and there is a beautiful hamper up for grabs for the winner of the series. Gallon 350 is saying he's already being able to taste those crownies. As it's a very lovely hamper valued at $165 with some great booze, chocolates and snacks of the likes. And at this rate I think that will be potentially gallons. That's right, Slappy, yeah, no real clear dominance at this stage. Was looking like it at the start with the practice and qualifying, but then it did soon change. So we've only seen Weaven and Demon's Ferraris sort of slip behind a bit. But Gallon is really holding that Ferrari at pace with this McLaren just about. Not really slipping behind too much. And that could just be more from a couple of possible driver errors potentially. Well, compare some top speeds going along these back straights. So after this hairpin we'll have a look and just see how much speed this McLaren's getting. And it gets up to 216. And we saw 220 from the Ferrari. So that's not too bad considering. Fuel loads between the two is quite similar. However, this lap, Gallon has shaved off half a second, so he's starting to catch up onto Sami. Um, Spunty's just headed into the pits now. And he still has that damaged car. Check out the rest of the field while there is a bit of space between everyone. Sami getting around Strasbourg. Now my thing was moved off track nicely. And then Gallon 350 now needing to get around Strasbourg. So as a normal showing a bit of damage to that car. Lap setting at 138. And we've had Demon Effects lose his gain up, but he was closing in on Weaven. His last lap of 142. He's now slipped by about 20 seconds, so an error must have been made and gone off. Lap 21, still yet to see our race leaders. Get in and serve their mandatory pits. Kakadu sitting about at seven seconds behind second position at the moment. He's catching up to some back markers as well. There's eight seconds behind him is Weaven. The car's still darting about a little bit. And 
we've been at least being able to have a little bit of a breather now with demon effects disappearing out of that mirror. Can he start to make up some time and catch up to Kakadu? Let's see the differences between the lap times. Even's about 0.3 of a second off from their last lap set. And their best time is about 0.4 of a second slower than Kakadu. So at this rate, potentially Kakadu will be safe and stay ahead of Weaven. So, so far, having a chance at a spot on the podium. Sami. Last lap set, Sami was 0.1 of a second slower than Gallon. There will be a bit of fatigue setting in now with 23 laps done. And he can get a little bit complacent sitting out the front as well. But this lap now, he's actually nearly on par with his fastest lap. Very focused for this lap. There's some very consistent driving being done from Sami. Turn my headset down. That McLaren has a nice purr coming through my headset. Okay, difference for sector two, a little bit off pace. And make that up in sector three. Catching up to Rooney or as a normal just up ahead. Still not pitting. We're out for a lap on board with our race leader Sami. That was a nice lap indeed. So he's now pushed that lead out over Gallon 350 by four and a half seconds. Gallon needing to catch up. Just gotten past Rooney. Rooney's pace still a little bit off with that front bar damage. And Weaving Triple Seven still starting to slip a little bit further behind Kakadu. He's got eight, eight seconds to try and catch up to second position. If he can do that, it could be a McLaren 1 2 finish. Compare differences in times between him and Gallon. We have 0.2 off the last laps, 0.3 off best times. Over the course of another 11 laps, he could potentially improve that and then with the pit stop, ooh, a little bit of a lock in the brakes. He's corrected that and brought that round perfectly in time. Oh, he's just relapsed Simo Simsel from the looks of things. Seems currently three laps down. Strasbourg also three laps down currently. I think that is Gallon now catching up to him to look at lapping. Monty currently sitting in ninth position. Last lap set is pretty neat across the board. 
between 135 to 141. And six seconds difference throughout the field. Make our way down through the grid. We're only currently one lap down. Sitting in eighth position. That isn't too bad of a recovery considering he did actually have to pit in for that damage and since he has already pit, when the rest of the field needs to head into the pits, he can stay out on track so that he could potentially recover at least another position. He could get ahead of Ezra Normal if Ezra has not pit yet. And to Gino 7 in the GTR. Currently sitting in 6th position. Last week in the sprint race, we saw him finish in 6th position. We finish in 8th position for the main race. He's doing well at the moment, currently sitting in 6th. A little bit of time to try and make up to catch up to the next in line being Demon FX. And he's still currently sitting about 20 seconds behind Weaven777. Looks like he's catching up to Sunti at the moment. Sunti will be shown blue flag and Demon will need to try and get around cleanly and safely. Weaven still about 11 seconds behind Kakadu. Kakadu still sitting around that 8 second mark. I think it will definitely come down to just how efficient their pit stops are. Surely start to see some cars peel off. That should be sufficient fuel to get the rest of the race through. It is about 50 litres so far. That should be enough to see him through. Check out just how Sam is going. He started about the same load, about 78 litres as well. There should be enough fuel for them to get through. If their tyres aren't looking too scrub, there should be a very quick stop and go. It's not required to actually have any work done at the pit. They can get away for a release. It can be anywhere from 3 seconds to 5 seconds, usually for a stop and go release. Don't forget when you're joining us for the stream, you can use those sound effects down below as well. You can have some fun and play some effects over the stream. line for Sami that hasn't allowed Gallon to catch up any gain on that. And if the drivers are starting to feel a bit of fatigue as well it can also pay to head off into the pits give that little bit of a reprieve. Kakadu now peeling off into the pits he's going to have to make sure he Pulls that up in time. Burning his first mandatory pit. That'll see Weaven move back up into a position. He has not followed off into the pits. Fuel load also looking fine for Weaven. He now needs to try and cover as much ground as you can. Oh, mistake, cutting that corner. That's cost him a little bit of time. Gallon also slipping behind in time as well. 
and Rooney in a lap car still not too far behind him. Sami coming up to Ezenomal. Ezenomal will be shown blue flag. He's going to have to try and find a spot to get around. Doesn't want to get caught up too much behind him, lose some time and allow Gallon to catch back up. Ez has moved off the racing line. Doesn't want to move off too much that it's going to potentially bring him back in track and cause an accident. And Sami's around nice and clean. Didn't lose too much time, still hasn't peeled off into the pits. Could have possibly been a good opportunity to get into the pits instead of actually sitting behind Ezza and waiting for a safe spot to get through. Obviously going to leave this pit stop to as late as possible. Gallon still out on track as well. We're even starting to catch up onto Simo Simzel. You can hear when Simo's around with that high pitch scream of the Lamborghini Hurricane. Hackett is back out on track. So we're seeing to add work at the difference between the times. Last lap was 1.55 and a 1.42. So it's about 30 seconds for a pit stop. We didn't stay with him just to see how long he was actually stopped for. But it is a very long pit. You can see too much in the stream. But coming up onto the final turn, you can see that red line head off. So it's a very long pit entry before you get to the cones. Strasbourg moves off track to allow Kakadu through. But it is a very long pit. And then pit straight is rather long for finding that exit as well. Kakadu sitting 11 seconds behind Weaven at the moment after entering from that pit. If we add 30 seconds onto lap times, he will come out well and truly ahead of Weaven. Weaven, 25 seconds and closing in on the gallon at the moment. Locked into that. Not sure what's going on with Gallon. I'm not sure if potentially his tyres aren't holding up. He may be pushing every little bit of life out of those tyres. There's only five laps remaining for the race. A set of tyres could potentially be rather worn at this point of time in the race. Uh, Mr. McLaren seeming to hold up. We'll see. We just got the last laps. Gallon doing a bit quicker than what Sami was. 135, 136 seeming to be the common time throughout the field. A fair bit of spacing going on. Gallon 350 doing rather well to keep that Ferrari. Not too far behind Sami's McLaren. So most of the race is held about 3.3 seconds gap between him and Sami. That's only just been pulled out to 4.8. And that is with having to get around some lap traffic. I'm not sure how much Gallon 350 may have actually been held up on. That's really good. It's been a very clean race for tonight. There's some very good courtesy going on for lap drivers getting out of the way for the race leaders. That's the normal we'll need to be able to move out of the way. The flag would be shown. He runs off track to do so. 
Can you get back on the reasoning? Okay, that's just cost him a position to do so. Rooney comes flying up around him, but then Rooney spun, narrowly avoiding as a normal's car. Something's going on. He's got that car back around. He's back on track. Okay. Lap 31, four laps remain. We have to see Sami, Gallon, and Weaven pit yet. Kakadu's 38 seconds behind the leader, and it seems to be that it's adding about 30 seconds to a pit. Kakadu can cover some ground over these next couple of laps. He definitely could potentially gain a couple of positions. He's definitely going to get ahead of Weaven. They could see him potentially get ahead of Gallon as well. And as long as Gallon finishes in the top few cars, there's going to be no issue in defending the championship from Weaven. Unless he ends up having quite a bad accident in these last few laps and ends up falling to the back of the field. The worst case scenario, a technical issue sees him drop out. That would be the only way he would be able to lose the championship. And then even Weaver would have to actually potentially take a victory in the final race to be able to steal that championship lead. Gallon should be sitting pretty safe at this point. Lap 32, three laps remain, and here comes Sami into the pits. He's going to have to make sure he shaves off his speed down to 60 in time, otherwise he could quickly see a DQ. 10 second penalty for even just doing 10 Ks over the limit. And then if you come in at about 30 Ks over, you can actually see yourself with a 50 second penalty, and that would definitely cost the race for Sami. bad time for stream to drop out in the last couple of laps. Last lap, we're going to have to see them head into the pits. And Rooney is starting to catch up on Gina's GTR at this stage. He's only 16 behind, 16 seconds behind Gallant. Uh, 20 seconds to 30 seconds for a pit stop. If nothing goes wrong for Sami on the last laps, this will be a victory for him. He's got five seconds, sorry, six seconds now behind him and Weaven. However, Weaven also needs the pit. Gallant and Weaven could potentially be sharing a pit stall as well. So there could be a delay in traffic. And here comes Gallon. Always extra careful to shave off that time. And Weaven needs to pit this lap, otherwise it'll be a DQ for him. We'll see him peel off as well. And here he comes. Very quick, hot into that, a little bit off. Oh, he's going to spin just before pit entry. 
didn't take damage. Catastrophic for Weaven to be DQ'd at the end. Sami now nice and secure ahead of the field. Gallon arranges the track 3.6 seconds behind Sami. It is the final lap. Weaven's back out. Demon effects. I'm pretty sure he has already pit. Housing will be a DQ for him. He's come out ahead of Weaven. So I think this is a victory for Sami. On board for a victory lap here. The final round of the series for the Hamper HQ GT3 World Tour. It's first win for Sami in an Apex Esports League. It's coming up onto the last straight, onto the last turn. Timo's moved out of the way for him. And here we are, Sami coming up to the finish line. Lights flashing, he is finishing in first place. He's done, taking the win. Gallon 350, not too far behind, nearly to get hit by Simo on the way through on the podium. I think that's enough to definitely secure his position as champion for the series. Well done to Gallon. Kakadu coming up to finish in third place. And he comes crossing the line. Finishing in third, well done. Also Demon Effects in fourth position. Weaven triple seven in fifth, not enough to be able to steal the championship away from Gallon three fifty. Seventy five seconds left to finish last laps. There's a normal coming up in sixth position. This should be pretty safe. He's got about seven seconds between him and seventh position. Should be enough time for him to get around and finish this lap. Been a brilliant drive by all drivers tonight and throughout this series. Last corner coming on to pit straight. Oh, Santi's just done, must have done a big slide across the finish line as a normal try just does the same. Finishes in sixth position. Flash of the lights for Gina 07 coming across the line and there we have it, the final race for the Hamper HQ GT3 World Tour and we have Sami taking first position. Also on the podium is Gallon 350 who will be now enough points to definitely secure his spot as champion for the Hamper HQ, HQ GT3 World Tour. Also on the podium is Kakadu, and then followed for the rest of the field is Demon FX, Weaven Triple Seven, as a normal Gina 07, Rooney 9915, Santi Strasberg, and Simo Simsel. And we'll have a look and just see who got the fastest lap of the race. I think that's still. No, that was stolen away by Sami in the end, I think, with a 134.703. So a very quick time indeed. And that is it for us for this year for our broadcast. So next year we'll be, ha or we'll be having a couple of weeks break so over the Christmas and New Year's period. And then we'll be back with the Apex ESL Formula Rookie Cup. And that is on Project Cars 2 for PS4 as well. There are spots available if you want to get involved in any of our races as well. Follow our Facebook page link and you can head over to our group and find out the event details or if you've got an Android phone you can find our app on the Android store. It's just Apex Esports League and then the first round of the Apex ESL Formula Rookie Cup starts Thursday January 7th. Broadcast will start at 7.30 and if you want to get in the driving lobby opens at 7.15. 
And that is a full five round series with brands Hatch, Nurburgring, Zolder, Red Bull Ring and Monza. So a very exciting series for open wheel. And of course, with Gallon 350 winning this championship, he has now secured his spot to getting that lovely hamper provided by Hamper HQ. And a big thank you to Hamper HQ for sponsoring the series and being able to put up a lovely prize. Go and enjoy your lovely hamper. And be sure to head over and check out their website and see the great hampers they have available. And then I'm sure you'll be able to find one for yourself or for a loved one to send off. And thanks for joining us. Be sure to hit that follow button, subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. And then we'll see you in the new year for the opening round of the Formula Rookie Cup. See ya.